The following video has been kindly sponsored by Trade. You almost, you almost said my line. <laughs> we have a whole bunch of maple flooring. This is what they would call um, thirds, which doesn't sound very high on the wood totem pole. <laughs> I think there's some knots here and there. We only need probably six or 700 square foot. So we bought a little extra and we did that on purpose because we wanted to be able to go through all these packages and pick out the longer, better pieces. And then all of this small stuff, I am going to just sell online for, for cheap. Um, but anyways, yeah, I don't want to talk anymore. I, I want to really just get into this because there are a lot of packages and, and it's going to be kind of fun. It's like Christmas. It's like wood Christmas. That's fun. I thought that every single thing would have some pieces like this. Right. two to three footers, and then everything pretty much two foot or less. A bulk of it is two foot or less. But then you can't be that upset either when you buy like low end grade three lumber. I think that this is what you can expect. Are we gonna be putting flooring down this weekend? I gotta buy a nail gun. Honey, can I buy a nail gun? Whatever makes your life easier. Can I hire someone to put it down? If you want to. No, I think I can do it. If you are a coffee nut like me, you will definitely enjoy Trade. Hey everybody, as you know, this week's video was sponsored by Trade. I decided to come over to my neighbor, AKA Sarah's dad, and we were gonna drink some coffee this morning and tell you a little bit about Trade. Sounds good. We're both what you could call coffee pros. John, you roast your own coffee? Yeah, I do, yeah. I've seen him out here in the mornings and stuff with the steamy beans. You've been doing that for a while? Well, since last summer. Okay. Yeah. And what was it that made you want to... Uh, I just figured it'd be, it looked like fun to try it, you know? Mm -hmm. I wanted to taste a really good cup of coffee, and now I got it. Yep. Yeah. It is a good way to drink coffee. And as some of you know that have been following our channel for a while, Sarah and I owned a cafe for eight, eight or nine years or, or so. And in that time, we bought and sold many different types of coffee. The best way to explain trade is the one-stop shop for all things coffee. But something that they do that's rather unique is after you take a quick quiz telling them what type of coffee you enjoy, they pair you with one of their roasters. Once paired with a roaster, you choose your delivery frequency and the coffee will appear at your doorstep and I got mine within 24 hours. That's absolutely the best way to drink coffee. These beans were so fresh. 
the quiz is fun. Okay. And so they sent me a, a very fun looking copy. The, the name is is the hard part. And obviously I have to do this on camera. But it's called Burundi. 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 Mm. He's got the accent for it. Tui Hamway. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say that. But, you know, since John did, I won't have to now. A couple important notes to point out about this roaster in particular. And I didn't know this about trade, but they will work with local roasters. So looking at the back of this, I see this was roasted from uh, Gimme Coffee out of Ithaca. Yeah, right down the road. It really is close to us. Yeah. A couple things I really like about Trade is that it exposes you to so many different types of roasters that you never even knew existed. It gives you so many more options than your local grocery store. And because you can choose your delivery frequency, it almost guarantees you won't run out of coffee. Burundi. Burundi. Yeah. To Burundi. What a magical place. Wow, that is really sweet. It is. Once you get the coffee and you drink it, you go back to Trade, the website. Once at the website, all you have to do is rate the coffee so then Trade can match you with more coffees that you will love. If you don't like your first bag, you can go on there and they'll send you another bag for free. I think you only do that once, though. Probably. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't like that one either. Send me something else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They would be on to you pretty quick. Yeah. They'd be like, are you sure you like coffee? <laughs> you know, like 800 bags of coffee. <laughs> I'm trying to acquire a taste for it. Yeah. <laughs> so don't try that. Well, thanks for, you know, letting me use your porch and, and your my, coffee grinder. My, my pronunciation. Yeah. Your, <laughs> thanks for your pronunciation. <laughs> This sponsorship was so much fun to shoot because I got to sit and talk with my father-in-law and I haven't done that in a while since starting the Stone House. My viewers can get 50% off their first bag when they sign up for trade. Just take the quiz and use my promo code STONEHOUSE50. You're also going to get free shipping. Lastly, I'd like to thank Trade for sponsoring the channel and I will thank anybody who visits the website and tries it out. Okay, let's get to this week's video. I think we can start the flooring. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you know that I came here last night, worked kind of late, just kind of prepping. I got a new hose for the uh, air compressor that works much better now, as you all saw. Got all the materials I need. I've got the, uh, the rosin paper that apparently will go underneath the floor. What this paper does is beyond me, who knows. We've talked about a little bit in the past of how I don't want to do any kind of vapor barrier or anything like that because I do have foam underneath this floor already. New tool. New tools are always fun. This is the Harbor Freight nail fl floor nailer. I'm really prepared this morning.
get this nailer out. I'm going to run a quick test. I have a couple 10 inch pieces here of the maple flooring. And I'm going to put uh, two staples and two cleats. See like which one seems maybe better held down. I really have a feeling that it's going to be very similar. To me, the staple should hold better just because it seems more, uh, you, you got like more contact, right? Like more steel in wood. But I've heard that the cleats hold better because the cleats do have these little tiny grooves that, that help it hold in where the, I don't see any grooves on the staples. Well, we probably won't really learn much out of this test, let's be honest. Wait, maybe. I don't really know how these go in the machine, so let me, uh, I better read the, I, I better read the book. It doesn't show you anything, how to load it. 90 PSI is max, that's good to know. No, I got it at 150 right now. Let's see if I can see the, sta okay, staples make more sense. No, that doesn't, oh, staples make more sense. Okay, they just go right over top of that for sure. These cleats probably go like this then. No? How are there no pictures, man? The, the staples just are simple. Oh, there it is, okay, got it. Without any directions, it was actually quite simple to know how to put the cleats and the staples in the gun. It's pretty intuitive. This is definitely worth showing. Look at the staples and how they drove into the wood. And just look how much wider that staple is to my finger and then to the cleat. The staple is much, much bigger. Well, the piece of wood, the tongue, and the piece of wood broke fairly instantly. Those cleats are nice. Let's just pull a cleat out and see what happens. Hmm, I don't know. That came out pretty easy. Let's try this one. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, before we make judgment, let's see how the staple does. Well, I think we know maybe who won that. I've worked on this house for four and a half years. I ripped every board out of it, basically. Rebuilt it from the ground up. And I'm about to nail my first piece of flooring. My finished flooring downstairs.
keeps the heart of grace No matter what the change Life remains the same As you look through Seasons that have come and gone And you wonder How we even made it this far As you look through Seasons that have come and gone And you wonder How we even made it this far
looks like we made it about 10 feet. I'm not trying to be fast. I really just take, I'm taking my time. If you're wondering, uh, yes, this will have to be sanded for sure. And then we do have to finish it. This is unfinished. And we're thinking tongue oil. Tongue oil or the Osmos X. Osmo Poly X. That right there is all of my cuts for everything that we've done. So I haven't even wasted maybe a foot of board at the most, which is nice. We're, we're trying not to be wasteful. Because anything that we're left over with, we can sell and get some money back. It's a nice light floor, which is what we wanted. You know, like if you look at this floor with the window sills that are dark and the ceilings dark, it really looks good. But that's it. Hey, Ellie, do you want to say thanks for watching? Do you want to do it while you're upside down? Yes. Okay. Ready? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. You're over there. Ready? No, wait, wait a minute. Turn towards me. <laughs> oh, here we go. Say, thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs>